me, I just filmed a hair tutorial for you so you could see kind of how I do my hair. It's nothing fancy. I don't think it's anything special whatsoever, but you can at least just kind of see how I do it. I, it's just a straightener and curling iron. So I hope this is helpful and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, so here's my natural hair texture. It is looking pretty frizzy. Um, I don't use many products outside of shampoo and conditioner. I need to do better about that. But um, that is after I've blow dried it with kind of a paddle brush. And you can see that I'm just using my straightener and I'm working my way through. This is like probably the worst technique ever, but I'm using my fingers and just doing kind of quick motions to get it kind of smoothed out before I curl it. And I find that at least for my hair texture, this works best to just smooth it out before I curl. And I'm just kind of reaching under and grabbing sections on top. There is no rhyme or reason. I use uh, Monet hair products and I really, really like it. So here I'm just, yeah, doing some more of the same. And I just move quickly and I just use my straightener all the way through, finding pieces that need to be straightened. So I need to do better about adding more products, but this is what I do for now. So I'm gonna speed up the footage so you can see what else I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to take my curling iron. I, I meant to look at this before I recorded, but I think it's maybe an inch or a half an inch. I'll have to look and see, somewhere in that range. But um, you can see I'm just grabbing pieces in the front and I'm curling away from my face and I leave a little tail out at the end of the curling iron and this just kind of makes it more look more natural to me and not so like tight ringlet and you'll kind of see what I mean like when I mess up the curls with my fingers at the end it just creates a more natural look to me kind of a more current look I guess I would say but um yeah I start the curl kind of not all the way up at the top of my head kind of midway through and I don't pin my hair up or anything I just kind of take it with my fingers and find pieces that need to be curled and curl it that way. Um, I kind of split my hair in the back, like down the middle, and I put both kind of sections over my shoulders, if that makes sense. And then I just kind of reach under um, and grab the, the sections that are underneath. So you can kind of see me doing this in the next few seconds. Um, and I just kind of grab what needs to be curled and go from there. I really don't have any method more than that and I just leave the little tail out at the end. I pull it taut and hold it for a few seconds and that's it. So you can see me go from there. So I use the hairspray um, by the brand Euphora and I get that at my salon and my sweet hair girl is so good to show me <laughs> which products to use. I love you Katie! And I'm just spraying all over and kind of fluffing the curls out. I've given them time to kind of set, you know, like as I'm curling my other pieces I just let them sit and then I use my fingers to break them up a little bit and I'm just kind of spraying all throughout with the hairspray. So this just kind of helps with volume and hold. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I'm taking a pick, this is so old school, and I'm back combing or teasing on top. I learned this skill from my sweet mama and she's always done this and you just lift at the root and just kind of back home. You just kind of go in a downward motion and it gets 
it volumized and then I use the pig also to kind of smooth the top like that. So you're just kind of adding in some volume underneath and I do the ends of my hair too. It's kind of a little trick um, for more volume at the ends. And so I'm just kind of adding that in and using the comb and then more hairspray. So I'm just getting that all to stay in place just like that. Thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I'll talk to you soon.